Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. We expect to see gold having support around 1720, 1722. But we got to tell you, even a pull back to 1670, 1680 would support the long term, excuse me, would support the near term uptrend. In other words, even if we went down another 50 bucks from here, we would be and we'd still be in the secular growth trend that we've been in gold for a while. So we're expecting to have a reasonable day of trading. There doesn't seem to be any panic in any particular markets around the world. So we just want to point out to you that you want to buy gold on the dips. That's been a very lucrative strategy for our clients over the last little while. And reminding you also to keep your uh, trading stops running 15 to 20 percent below with limits so that you're stopped out once that price is, uh, once that price is passed. Now, we also want to bring up a couple of things. One has to do with re regard to China. And China, as you know, even for a sovereign government, uh, seems to like the big lie approach. I don't know if that's one of the things that are common with communist governments. The Chinese debt is 90% of GDP. If our debt was 90% of GDP, all hell would be breaking loose. So Chinese debt. When you factor in state and local governments and authorities, which have done the bulk of the borrowing. So if we pretend that the only debt China has is of the central sovereign government, that's one thing. But when we look in the other direction and we see all the debt that the states, cities, localities, and authorities have put on, like for the bullet trains, uh, you know, we see a very different picture, 90% of GDP. Secondly, <clears throat> to change the ground completely. Obama didn't win the election because he was the best guy in the universe. He won the election because he was the best politician in the race. I see no evidence to indicate that he won't be the best politician in the next race. It's early days. <clears throat> As per usual, people are abandoning ship and complaining and whatnot. The fact of the matter is, Rick Perry does not believe in Medicaid. Now, where do you go when the Republican nominee doesn't believe in Medicaid? <clears throat> now, I'm not even going to go into some of his other <clears throat> views, and I won't even character them as, characterize them as extreme. The Mitt Romney issue is going to be dealt with with a savage attack on his character. I don't know whether he's got the guts to respond. Michelle Bachman's record, <clears throat> though I find it interesting that she's on the Intelligence Committee, <clears throat> Michelle Bachman's record and beliefs, uh, are going to be exposed, and I don't think everybody in the economy is going to be pleased to see them. <clears throat> this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Remember, buy gold on the dips. Take everything you see from China with a grain of salt. And Obama is still the best politician in the race. Have a great day.